Namaste. I hope you're out. With or without kumbhaka? And that's an important question when it comes to practicing pranayamas or breath regulation exercises. Okay. Yeah. Hatha yoga prescribes kumbhaka. So the kumbhaka or the breath retention is the essence of pranayama. Okay. Why so? Yeah. Hatha yoga awakens the dormant centers of the body and the brain. And the pranayama of Hatha Yoga are the most potent yeah, for attaining that deep, energetic, spiritual function or purpose. Yeah. So for us to attain this higher potentials of our inner bodies, yeah, we need to go past and beyond our autonomic functions. Therefore, regulating the flow of the breath, altering the pathway of the breath, yeah. changing or controlling the length and duration of the breath, and suspending the breath. And this is on top of the required physical observances. For example, doing it in a cross leg or some props, yeah. There are really requirements involved yeah, because you just don't want to be breathing your pranayama and controlling and regulating and retaining the breath. Yeah. For example, you're lying down or you're standing or you're walking and you do this because, mind you, when you regulate the flow of the breath, you're bypassing the autonomic functions. And if you do it improperly, yeah, you may suffer, for example, fainting, you may lose your balance, or you may even suffer electrical shocks and seizures. Yes, yeah. Um, because when you control the flow of the breath, you are increasing the levels of electricity flowing through your system. And that has to be approached with care and ample preparation. Mm. Right. So that's the essence of pranayama. Mm. Right. Why? Why do we go past and beyond 